everyone, Ravenous here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 and Far Harbor. Where we left off, we were on our way to Arcadia with Longfellow. We just talked to a crazy preacher of the Children of Adam. What I do with him, I haven't decided yet. Uh, so, I decided no for now, but I didn't kill them. So, maybe later. Anyway, let's continue on with our journey. Alright. Go. We are moving. Go. Move now. Alright. So I will pause to use Radex while I was talking. Ahead, the air is clean. Oh. No fog. Katie is not too far now. Oh, good. I hear rumbling. Thought I heard, like, big footsteps. Oh. I did not need the Radex. Put the gun away. And we've arrived. Yay! Katie's okay. already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You say you want me to stick around and watch your back? Maybe later. You Maybe are a follower. Later. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. If you ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together, I could think of worse things to do. <laughs> All right. Now, just, uh... Out of curiosity, where is he said he has the uh oh what I saw earlier. Neat. And a consider a settlement. Very nice. I'll have to build that up later. I do love the settlements. Alright, optional cat help Captain Avery. What? Alright. Alright, so I can always come back to this one and do all of the side quests later. For now, we have a mission. Quick save. Always quick save. I don't see anybody out here. Job to be completed. Discovering all of the Commonwealth map yet. All right. Where's key? Where's key? You know, when I first climbed this mountain Whoa. above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. Wow, you're freaky. Uh... What are you? I told you. I'm the old Synth on the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling but I want to ask you to look past that tell me why you're here and I'll try to help you sarcasm well in that case I want a nuka cola some stim packs Kasumi Nakano returned to her family and hmm, a pony <laughs> I see I'm afraid some of those things I'm not in a position to give Kasumi is here She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? Who or what she is isn't important. But it is. It's 
everything. Imagine just looking at your own hands and having to wonder, was I born with these, or were they manufactured? None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie, that someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? Well, I would do sarcastic. I think I like number one. How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs, holes in someone's memory, feelings of unexplained isolation, odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? No, but if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a synth, but tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <sighs> well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first... kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings... That's a hard thing to because transfer Because it wasn't built in the game! Mind. Isn't it funny going. how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. Okay. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase, and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? Let's see. Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? Now, in my playthrough, I did not align with the Institute, so hence option four right there. But I'll get to that in a second. Tell me more about this place, Acadia. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can and give them a chance to know what they really are. To embrace it. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. I don't 
have any grand plans for expansion. Just existing as we are now is enough. Was there anything else? You should know the Institute has been destroyed. What? It's over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery? But that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? I'm part of a group that helps since The railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost, I know how frightening it is, the risk of capture. But sacrificing what you are, avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life, Are you saying you don't want the railroad's help? It's not about that. It's about how you've let fear blind your cause. I didn't come to argue. I just wanted you to know we're out there, helping your people. I know. I'm... sorry. It's easy for me to worry about our ideals while I'm so far away from the Commonwealth, in relative safety. Can I help you with anything else? Now, what I will say is I like how that conversation turned it around to give him something kind of major to think about when he did the same to me. But personally, I think it doesn't matter if, uh, say, my character here is a synth or not. Because... With your words. Admirable. Because I think... Uh, you, you, you are, I, in my opinion, you are the person your memories dictate. Because you are who your past creates you from. You are your past, essentially, are in you my opinion. all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm talking. But, uh, so I actually don't think it matters. I mean, if you can't physically prove one way or another, what does it matter? You live your life how you want to live your life. So everyone here in Acadia... As long as you're not hurting people. Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Alright. So looks like there's going to be more, uh... Yep. Help these guys. But, uh... No, I think that's going to be the question for, uh... Uh, Kasumi here is... Even if she's a sin... Does she... Does that make her... Change, does that change how she feels about her parents? She remembers uh, living with them. a hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the atom lunatics. They're nothing you need to be concerned about. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. Dearest Faraday, relax. All will be fine. So, Shoot. you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. And I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. So, you're a synth? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Nope. Dima has worked hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... 
Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Right. Oh, sarcastic. Right. Right? Wouldn't want him blowing a fuse. Huh? Uh, no. Not really. <laughs> Can All right. you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. They're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. <laughs> well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here, for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers... There's no end to what's out there, and what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once, and I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Uh, buddy. I don't do much for free, Faraday. Ah, right. Of course. I should have thought of that. How does 100 caps sound? Oop. Didn't you say this might be dangerous? 100 caps sounds <laughs> a little light dangers involved. Well, yes, there is that possibility. Uh, would 200 caps be more agreeable? More like as much as you can give me. Faraday, come on. I want to help you. I really do. 200 caps is just, I mean, it's a little insulting. Oh, oh dear. I'm so sorry. Insulting you was not my intention. <laughs> is 300 caps less insulting? That's really about all I can spare. I'll take you for whatever thing you got. Why don't we just agree that you'll give me all the caps you've got? Fine. Four hundred <laughs> is as much as I can spare. <laughs> Please, let me know when you found the drives. I love it when he says exactly what I'm thinking. All right, so... There's the first one over here. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. Thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. And miss out on a fun boat ride? Never. Well, then at least you have the return trip to look forward to. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe. No matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down since and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. So what's your story? I used to be a courser. Returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Being able to convince a courser to stop being a courser is really impressive. Tell me about Acadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, 
We've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. This island is a death trap. Your synth probably ended up as Mirelurk food. I certainly hope not, but I'd like to know for certain. You sarcastic. should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. Oh. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Well, as long as it takes for me to uh, get the quest done and all that. Alright, so let's explore this place a bit more. What? That requires key. Ooh, there's something over there. There is a something. Words and all that. Let's go data. Alright. Alright. No, yeah, when I go back, I'll tell them. So. But yeah, a lot of these seem like more side quests, not integral to the plot and storage key. Let's see. Boop. Don't have the key. Alright, so I don't have the right key. Demo is kind of creepy. Ooh. Quick save. I don't know what this is going to do. Hacking time. Uh, aggressive. Nope. Uh, any similarities to this one? No. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. No, because there's nothing there. No. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. No. No. Ooh. Alright, let's. Get rid of some of these. Get rid of some of the duds. I never like to uh, get rid of the duds before I've used a few attempts in case I get the uh, reset. I don't like to waste the. I'd rather not waste the, the chance. Like this. Or no. Sorry. Not like functional. Blah. Alright. Have any more? I got that one. Historical? Sweet. Haha. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Hmm. I have no idea what all any of that means, but I unlocked it. Got experience. All right. So I guess this is yes. Yeah, here. A person. Kinda. Uh, nope. Don't care. So consume me. Should be in here. What's it here? Oh, more people. Uh, let's see. It says downstairs, so. Uh, I assume you're not planning on staying long. Gosh, after a welcome this warm, who wouldn't <laughs> want to just stay forever? This place isn't for you. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. 
If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth, without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. But we don't know if I'm not contact a with outsiders is just practical. You must have tons of friends with this attitude. I don't need friends. You are a sad, sad man. So, Hi. I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? Quaint. With sort of an old world, burn it to the ground and salt the earth kind of charm. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> of course it was already burned to the ground once. I'm not sure attempting that again would yield much. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was, but it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt long after we're gone. What's important, really important in the long run, is understanding it, and then passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us. But you're Sith, right? If that's what floats your boat. It gives me a sense of purpose, yes. I like having something worthwhile to which I can dedicate my time. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy, but I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. Since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. Never mind. I'll get back to it then. All right. Did I take Sounds it like here? you got the all clear. So what's your story? Uh, look around. I'm just taking a look around. Sure you are. Just of your own accord. No particular reason. Nothing to do with that Kasumi girl, right? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I hear you. Is that so? Huh. Most of the chumps here act like I'm out of my gourd. Good to know someone else sees See, it. See, I'm not going to be sarcastic anyway, today. Lately, I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but <laughs> let me know anyway. I like you, Cog. Let's see what you got. I'll take a look. Sure. Let's do some business. Let's see, do you have anything good? Probably not, but why not take a look? Uh, uh, bobby pins. I'll always take bobby pins. Anything good in the jug? Oh, that's nice shipments. All right, so we will accept, confirm, get my bobby pins. Oh, you again. Or you. Acadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but it means there's hope, right? No, oh, sure. A little hope and some duct tape, and all your problems are solved. I know, I know. <laughs> Not exactly a fortress, is it? When I first escaped, I had no idea what to do with myself. I was so lost, so scared. But I heard rumors of Chase and what she was doing, that she was bringing people to a safe place, a place just for us. And now here I am, for all it's worth. Well, I hope it's worth it. You and me both. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. Yeah. All right. I could talk. Did you need something? Nope. Who are you? So you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but... How are things there? Let's see. You get better. better every day, I think. Oh, that's so good to hear. I would like to see it again someday. Once things settle down here. Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. But honestly, it does get a bit boring. If this is boring, 
I'd hate to see what you consider exciting. Oh, aren't you a card? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. Good to meet someone friendly. And appreciates my sarcasm. Alright. There you are. The tree is completely fried. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. Let's see. Boop. Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? You came all this way... for me. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me... They wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Do you know the truth? What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time? Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> you haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. <sighs> Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. Oh. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? And shoot people. That's why you came after me. Yes, what if them. I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. Sister, there's a lot of things on this island more important than you. If you could just hold the jokes for a second. <laughs> you saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them, and, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I've found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. Personally, I find calculated mass murder to be very soothing. Look, help me out, and <laughs> if I'm wrong, you can make all the jokes you want. Now, I've tried doing some digging on my own, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Step aside and let the master hacker show you how it's done. So probably already sure. done it. Good luck. Once you have something, let me know. Alright, and so for now, it looks like we have a mystery on our hands. I was wondering where the uh, conflict was going to come in. But we will leave that for the next episode. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead, subscribe, like, do all the things, and we'll see you next time. Take care.